Hi guys, Andre from Convey of Randomness here, and today I'll be showing you five useful tips for using LumaFusion on your iPad. I've been using LumaFusion for a while now, making videos on this channel, and I'm going to show you a few useful tips that I've found help my creative process. These tips can be used on both the iPhone and iPad versions of LumaFusion. If you enjoy these tips and want to see more, subscribe to the channel and let me know in the comments below. The first tip is create a folder or file shortcut within the LumaFusion file system for your most used files. If you create regular videos and find yourself using the same clips in every video that are not in the Photos app, why not have a designated folder to store those clips that are easily accessible from within LumaFusion? As you can see, the files I use are stored in the Downloads folder on the iPad. In LumaFusion, to create that permanent connection between the Downloads folder, select Sources, choose Files, Select add link to folder, press the file location and press done. This has now created the link. If you want to create links to individual files, select sources, choose imported. Press the button with the three dots, select import media. Now select files. So this is important if the file you're looking for is in the folder in the files app. If it is elsewhere, like saved in the cloud or on an external drive, choose the relevant location instead. Now select the file. This file will now permanently be in the imported section of the sources for you to choose and import them into your project as and when needed. If there is a separate clip that you feel that you need to add to your current video and you feel that it may be useful for videos in the future or the new clipper settings that are not the same as the current project, then why not open a new project, create your mini video there, export it, reopen your original project and then import it onto the timeline. As the exporting process direct from LumaFusion to YouTube is really good and efficient, why not export in the best quality settings as possible? 4K resolution and ultra video quality, 150 megabytes per second. This way, as YouTube recodes every uploaded video, thereby reducing the quality of the original video, you'll get the best quality video that LumaFusion can export. That still may be of better quality if you're used to uploading videos manually to YouTube that are 1080 or 720. Plus you can add the video title, description and keywords direct from LumaFusion before you even upload. If you want to transfer work to another device with LumaFusion such as another iPad, an iPhone or even an M1 Mac, you can export your current project as a LumaFusion project package and then airdrop the file to another device. open it up on the new device and then carry on from where you left off. If you want to see my review on using LumaFusion on an M1 Mac Mini, I'll leave the link up there and in the description below. And finally, similar to the last tip, if you want to finish off a project in another video editor like Final Cut Pro, you can export the current project as an XML project package, airdrop the file into a Mac, import the file into your video editing software and continue from there. But just remember, you will have to pay £20 for the privilege to be able to use this LumaFusion feature. Hopefully those are a few helpful tips if you're starting out using LumaFusion. If you've got any more that you'd like to see in a future video, let me know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, please like like and subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon to get notified every time I release a new video. That's all from me today, I'll see you on the next one. Bye. Why don't you watch one of the two videos below? One of them is actually on my review of using LumaFusion on an M1 Mac Mini. Click before the time runs out. Three, two, one.